Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. We are live, and we are early. That's right, Donald in New Mexico. I am early this time to make up for being a minute late before. I am uh, two minutes early this time. Good to see you. Trying to redeem myself with Donald in New Mexico. We got Terry a second. Good to see you guys. Grow Mechanic is here. Good to see you grow. And we are live. It's a Tuesday. And that's what happens on Tuesdays. We go live. Very good. Almost religiously, but we don't involve religion in it. Hello, We Deep Inside. Good to see you. All right. Welcome, you guys. All right. Let's get some of these comments. See what's going on. I hope everybody had a great day. We're gonna, uh, before we get into the comments, let's take a look at the markets. Because you know me. I like to check the markets. Let's see. They're in... Uh, they're, in uh, Asia right now. They'll open in three minutes to see where they're at right now. Uh, there's, they're stuck. A little bit of limbo here, but 1810 for gold up 0.43%. Silver is up over a percentage point to $19.35. It's holding on to the $19 for the last couple of days here. All is one now. Good to see you. And Uperman, Juan Ortiz is here, and Silver Wolverine is here. Welcome, my friends. Good to see you guys. But it's a busy day for me. Hope everybody's doing well. I need to catch up on some videos. Probably um, Silver Wolverine's probably posted a video. I need to check it out. Hello from Kansas, says Taylor J. Hello. Yes, silver is on the rise indeed. Uh, marginally. It's, uh, it's, it's good news, but as I said in my video the other day about $19 silver, don't get your hopes up too much. You know what I mean? Because as quickly as it can go up, it could come back down uh, and take a bigger hit too, which is what I worry about with getting too excited about, especially silver, you know what I mean? But nonetheless, it is a, it is good news. We'll see here. All right, very good. Randy Wilson, I think he's new here. Good to see you. And Silver Honda's here. He drives a blue Honda. Yes, indeed, a blue Honda he does have. So let's get into some of these comments here, and we will... I've got a couple of scammers. Oh, you know what? I need to get the numbers. I left them in the other room. Dang on it. I hate that. I meant to have these numbers ready for me, which means that they might put you on pause and go get those numbers. $19 silver. Wow. Yes, it is kind of crazy. Uh, Arthur wants $14 silver. Yes, indeed. But Yaya Man is uh, impressed with $19 silver. I am too. Um, Below $19 silver for now and soon, gold below $1,800 again. Okay, so Mark's saying, saying that's going to go back down. And it could. It very well could. Uh, two videos. Getting juices fl flowering for sure. Oh, cool. All right. We'll get juices flowing. Flowing, not flowering. Very good. All right. All right. Very good. Let's see here. DT, you're bursting my bubble. We don't want to burst your bubble. But anyways, Precious Metal Invest says... Gold is older than Earth itself, created by collapsing stars, etc. It is made by extreme conditions when the billions of floating debris cause the collapsed star, etc. to begin the consolidation to and from Earth. Gold was intertwined in there too, which is why you find most of the bigger finds in the ground. Ah, okay. A good little geology lesson there for us. Very, very good. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, Phil Haycock says um, $1,800 silver. Uh, $1,800 is just a matter of time, about five or six days. Um, yeah, it's already there, Phil. Yep, it's already there. This is an older video. It says gold, $1,800, what next? And Sterling Pickens says they can say whatever they want. It's all nonsense. The only thing that matters is who gets stopped out of the paper market, shorter longs or stomped. Maybe it said stomped. The winner um, in the paper market day-to-day -day determines the price. That is all that counts. All right, very good. All right, let's see. Unknown Stacker, hello. Good to see you. I think you're new here, too. Sam Lick is here. Joey from Seattle is here. Very good to see you, yes. Yes, Charlie Daniels did pass away, I think, on the 6th or 5th. I'm very sad. He is an, uh, a patriot uh, and a great musician, for sure. He will be missed. I'm not a big fan of country music, but he is one person I think is a great guy. And uh, too bad. Very sad to lose a national treasure like Charlie Daniels. Hello, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Good to see you. Welcome. He's got the Cyber Curtain Twitcher. That's his uh, icon there. Very good. Always one now is here. Slurp, slurp. We got a slurp, slurp. We get Barbara here. We got Terry here. We got Jamie Foxx here. Hmm. And uh, damn, you still here is is still here, which is great. 
Pandora's box says, I made a purchase at 1550. Uh, I'm ready. There you go, brother. All right. Uh, even if silver spot price goes down, the premium on physical silver will continue to be fairly high. That's right. Supply chains are still kind of constrained here a little bit here, and I think that's why we're seeing a coinage shortage too in my latest video. Thousand Air Radio says it's nice that silver broke down to the downward consolidation. Charts should not be the only thing you pay attention to, but it is a significant indicator in my opinion. All right. Very good. Thank you, Thousand Air Radio. 20 by September. Okay, so JT thinks it's going to be 20 sooner rather than my prediction of end of the year. Robert Stovall says, Path to $20 silver, please, please tell me where I can buy some $20 silver. I must be getting robbed because I cannot find any silver anywhere near $20. Well, this is the spot price of silver, not the price you pay for it. Very good. All right. Aaron Krause is here. Hello, Aaron. Good to see you, sir. Very good. Yes, I am too good for country music. Yes, Terry. Uh, it's just above my... I'm above... No, I'm kidding. There's some good players out there. Chuck and Plata is here. Just ask my granddaughters whose voice this is. They said it's the guy who spits the coins out of his mouth. There you go. Yes, indeed. By the way, uh, you guys, if anybody is interested in buying some silver uh, for a good deal, contact Chuck and Plata. He has wanted to sell some silver. Uh, with spot price going up, I can't think of a better way to help a member of this community who could really use the funds right now, who is basically uh, at retirement age and needs to cash out. Check him out, Chuck and Plata. He's right in here. And uh, you can uh, get his contact information if you are interested there, but um, yes, indeed. Lord Humongous says, Silver looks nicer than platinum. Not a fan of industrial metals used for catalytic converters in an automobile apocalypse. Yes, I understand. Platinum is not for everybody. All right, Sterling Cannabis is here. Hello, Sterling Cannabis. Good to see you. Eddie and Vic Carrasso La Cruz. My brother, did you know that there are 6 billion ounces of silver above ground and 6 billion ounces of gold? Gold already knocked down the door for silver. There's still a million tons of gold in the Grand Canyon. Silver's more valuable than gold. Well, I'm sorry, my friend. I hate to say it, and I don't mean this rudely, but you're uh, misinformed. Uh, there is uh, not equal parts silver to equal parts gold, and there's absolutely zero evidence that there's any gold in the Grand Canyon. Um, and that's one of those conspiracy theories that they put out there because it's protected land. So anytime there's protected land, they can say, well, there's gold underneath of it. There's a treasure there. Well, you know what? Uh, um, conspiracies come out. That's very. That's a very convenient conspiracy theory. But gold will always be more rare than silver. Far more rare. And uh, But yeah. And anyways, but thank you for your comment. Uh, they tried to slam silver by the end of the uh, month delivery. And September promises to be historic as silver becomes extinct. Expect $600 silver by April 2021. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, Eddie. I I, I mean, I, I appreciate your sentiment. I know you're serious, and I'm kind of making light of it. But um, what my whole thing is, is we got to be realistic about the metal because we do not want to get people's hopes up for something like that that um, uh, is likely not to happen under really any scenario a, a short from a total and immediate economic collapse uh, where the dollar is completely revalued. But uh, yeah, um, so, but anyways, yeah, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry to say. Lord Humongous said J.P. Morgan cracking down on themselves is like leaving Jeffrey Epstein who didn't hang himself hanging out at a kitty daycare center. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, his preferences was for girls 14 and over. So there is that, you know what I'm saying? So give the guy some credit, right? No, I get what you're saying, uh, Lord Humongous. Thank you, sir. Nancy Barber Platinum is the next metal to collect. Well, I'll tell you what, I think I've gotten more of it this year, maybe than any other year, I'm not sure. Joey, everybody knows that the Giants are guarding the gold in the Grand Canyon. That's right, exactly. They sure are. They're guarding it. Hello, Barbara Carbone. A slurp in your honor. Welcome. John E. says gold, silver above ground is about equal, but about 16 times more silver left in the ground. That's a natural ratio of 16 to 1. Well, I would say that's wrong, too. Even if you count all the gold, well, it is wrong, uh, sadly. Um, uh, they've actually estimated that. There's even a democracy, which is definitely um, 
their infographics. There's mining statistics that sh say what all the above ground silver is and all the above ground gold. And uh, gold is far more rare, um, even when you include all of the reserves that are out there. Yes, indeed. Far more rare. Uh, Mark Hazley, don't overlook the new Credit Suisse article talking about silver being the new gold. I um, I think I did talk about it. I think I posted it in. I think I talked about it in there. I'm pretty sure. Um, I think I missed it. Well, I've been waiting for the massive pullback on silver before rocketing skywork. My enthusiasm to load up has been tapered by the Department of Justice order for J.P. Morgan to reduce its silver market positions on those required. We see massive deliveries from J.P. in July, as we see some evidence of just that. If banks are smart, they will forego this last manipulation. And indeed, the silver market is showing great strength. But if they do play one last stick to the lungs, play I'm waiting for the wings of dry powder to stock up and physical, I bought MTA in a pullback from 7 to $5.00. And I'm eyeing other silver plays as they pop up. My list is long and eight to over leverage the positions of both gold and silver. If not physical, the play is on. All right. Very good. Thank you. Let's see here. Oh, let's see. The fact is, there is gold in the Grand Canyon. I guess there's probably is some, a little bit of gold in there, but not as much as they say. All right. Let's see here. Not as much as, what is it, Big Square that's been uh, peddling that theory? That theory dates back. If you watch Belang P's video, he posted a video about that very subject and how that rumor started with that. All right, very good. John Smith says, it would be interesting to analyze whether there are other economic indices besides market-based prices, which might tell us something different story of the value of gold and silver in relationship to one another. As some have pointed out that markets are not the same as the economy. Broader measures comparing gold and silver might have more predictive power in the long term. I don't pretend to be an economist, though with a deep understanding of this type of nuance. Yes, indeed. All right. Thank you, John. Platinum B says, come on, silver, break the Jackson number. Break that Jackson number. All right. Very good. Let's see here. Savage Stacker says, Thank you, Sal. I've been uh, really tripping on silver lately. Call it a hunch. Not that I don't love it because I really do. It just seems like um, this would be the perfect storm and it's not breaking out in a crazy way like I feel it should. But I will say it's definitely not a good time to make any huge decisions right now. Just time to sit and watch the metals and stack cash and food and water to the rafters. There you go. Yes, silver definitely could break out, but it has not done so yet. And it's not done so yet. Uh, all right. Silver Wolverine's video is buying silver in 2020 for $30 an ounce, preserving your wealth. Oh, man. Yeah, that is a good topic. Culture of Currency. Hello. Good to see you. Yeah, I'll definitely check that out, Silver Wolverine. Brian Cagle. That's awesome. I only get a few tiny coins. That's a real stack. Yes. Wish I had that stack. That'd be cool. It's my friend's stack. The... All right. Uh, Joey, market just opened with gold and silver dipping. Okay, let's check it out. In China, the mar or in Asia, I guess this is mark uh, opened here. And the gold and silver are dipping slightly. Oh, man, they're, they're going to crash, everybody. Joey has confirmed it right here. They're dipping, which means they're going to crash down. Gold's going to go. Take my word for it. You can take this to the bank. In other words, I want you to take your, de your portable device with me talking on it to the bank. Because here it is, the prediction. And I want you to hold it up and hold it to the teller when I'm going to say this. Bank teller, you have no idea what gold and silver are, but silver is going to go down to $15 an ounce, and gold is going to go down to $14, $1,400 an ounce. Mark my words, you had it there. Now, bank teller, I can't tell you to take it to the bank because you're already at the bank. So you just have to be satisfied with it. All right. No, I'm teasing, guys. It's just a little bit of a dip. But, you know, it's fun to watch. Gold and silver both down slightly. Amazingly, silver gold took a bigger hit than silver in the drop. That's unusual anyways. But we're out of the starting gate there. John W., since dealers are gouging, I'm persuaded that there's plenty of interest in the little white metal. Only one ratio stays consistent in these uncertain times, and that is steady conversion. 
of the thumb up graphic from gray to blue. It continues to hold a steady one to one. There you go, John W. Yes, indeed. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. All right. Barbara Carbone is back. All right. Very good. That's slurp for Barbara. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Very good. Hello, Mr. Bullionaire. And Okie Dog is here. Hello. Good to see you guys. Very good. Moving on up here. Silversmith says, over for over a year now, gold has been the best performing asset. Silver will be next. I hope you're right, Silversmith. I really do. And it should be next. And it should be next soon, in my opinion. But uh, will it? We'll find out. John Bellinger says, hey, Sal, slurp. All right. Very good. Thank you on this. Uh, he was the first on this video. Massive coin shortage continues. Lessons learned. Dove season first. What? And try it. A question from Dove season. All right. Hello, Savage Stacker. Good to see Savage Stacker is here. Good to see you, brother. If I'm not mistaken, Savage Stacker used to be a weightlifter, big time weightlifter. And here I'm trying to do a little bit of strengthening stuff, and I'm not nearly like Savage Stacker is. Man. All right. And but as soon as Dove, if Dove season comes in, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop and, and do 20 as soon as I see him. All right. Let me hold me to that. The end of cash says Adam Adam Al Al. That's right. All right. Let me know if he pops in here. I gotta drop and give him twenty. Hello, Slava Q. We like the slurps. Very good. All right. Very good. I just slurp for you. I tumble for you and I slurp for you. Sterling Cannabis says they will lose everything over this, and all their assets will end up in the treasury. Manipulate seventeen push-ups, my friend. All right. Well, we're going to incorporate them into the 20 if dove, dove season shows up. If not, I'll do 17 for you plus. We'll see here. All right. Rick was watching my other video. Hey, thank you, Rick. Do a real push-up, says Donna, New Mexico. I know. Copper was up earlier today. Oh, okay. Very cool. Interesting to see that. Copper was up a bit. Say a prayer every day for everyone here and my family. Thank you so much, Mark B. You posted in the comment. That's very touching. We appreciate you, sir. You're awesome. Townie Stacker is here. Welcome. Good to see all you guys. Moving ahead, uh, Papa Crypto says, the feds are not rolling them up. They are bags and bags sitting in warehouse waiting to be rolled back up. Ooh, okay, interesting. Interesting, okay, very good. All right, let's see here. Uh, Meng Touts, all right, good to see Meng, uh, Meng Touts. Very good, let's see here. All right, moving on up here, we got Rocky Superstar was number four. Rocky, 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 Rocky. Rocky Balboa, Rocky, Rocky. Stacking points. I used to have a silver-plated Mossberg over and under, and it was engraved with a pheasant beautiful gun. Nice. That's awesome. Yes, indeed. Very good. All right, let's see here. Uh, Matthew Kitchen says, Save your change, people. After this collapse takes hold, change can be melted down to make bullets. Ooh, yeah, that's an interesting point. I sure could. Sure could. Sterling Cannabis says here, when all the people who get a $20 sell call hit the market with the price, will come back to 17 bucks, then I will be broke and not be able to back up the Tonka truck. I can't have that. I tell you what, man. All right. Uh, I, Italian G mailed my 85-year-old mom a box of N95 masks, and they got lost in the mail. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm sorry to hear that. Wow. Very nice of you to think of your mom, though. Hello, Mr. Old Fang, and good to see you, Italian G. And good to see four nines fine silver. And yes, indeed. And CCT is still here with us. Grow Mechanic late, but never. All right. Yes, indeed. And Grow Mechanic is here with us inside this very chat at this very moment. Calvin Cooper says, hey, Sal, I, try, I traded $90 loose change uh, with Convince Store today. All right. With con maybe Convenience Store today. Nice. They should have gave you a, a premium. You should have sold it at a premium since it's rare. You know what I mean? You could have made some money on it. Silver Watcher, it's not safe enough to make money, but we're supposed to go out in public to obtain it and spend it. Hmm, I don't feel safe either. Yes, good point. Good point. Very good. Thank you. Silver Watcher. Let's have another slurp. Breaking news. Some of you are actually saying hello to each other. 
in this very chat. That's what's happening, people. You're networking right here, saying hello to each other. Very nice. And you're ignoring me. Oh, no, my ego is crushed. No, I'm kidding. You guys have fun with each other. I'm going to be completely jealous, but that's okay. All right. All right. Okie dog. Hey, any fractional gold sovereigns good to stack? Um, yes, okie dog. Thank you so much for the super chat. And fractional old gold sovereigns. See, uh, technically, fractional will be anything kind of under uh, an ounce. But the sovereign itself is kind of its own thing. And so a sovereign is like 0.2354. You can get a half sovereign. But sovereigns in general are good half sovereigns because typically those are some of the lowest premiums premium coins you can find out there hello silver hunt oh thank you guys for saying hello to me you guys are great all right let's see here oh man that's right some of the cannabis agreed that i just showed up oh my goodness gracious and actually i'm gonna have to show up again uh here and momentarily michael martin says i don't know where in the country they are thinning the change i was in a store today and asked if there was a change shortage she they looked at me like i was wearing a clown's face a girl said she had a big coin jar they needed more if they needed more. Okay, very good. Michael Martin, that's cool. Nice. Silver Honda says, Two months ago, we had to worry about toilet paper. Now I'm hoarding my loose chains. What's next? I tell you what, I don't know. What's next? Crazy. Uh, Slava Key will be stacking silver. Very good. Nice. Hello. All right, there we go. We tickled the likey button. It says, Eric, it's going to laugh. It's going to giggle if you do it. Okie dog. Yes, they are pretty liquid. They're recognized around the world, those things are, the sovereigns. I don't have but maybe one or two of them. I wouldn't mind getting more of those. Nice coins. And the dos pesos as well. Dos pesos you can find. That's probably the smallest gold coin you can get for a fairly reasonable premium, in my opinion. Damn, you still here. I have plenty of coins in storage. And with me, I kind of got the collecting after I started stacking silver and gold. Let's see what happens. Very good. All right. All right, I am going to... Bo uh, button needs massaging. There you go. Exactly. Massage that like button. I don't even know how many people. we got 29 thumbs up, 2 thumbs down, 77 watching. All right. See if you can add more thumbs up to that. I am going to actually uh, go and uh, see if I can get uh, uh, get this number. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Time me. Uh, see how long it takes me to get back. I'm going to get those numbers for the scammer. Be right back. Sorry about that, I got sidetracked. I know I was gone for over an hour and a half. But I got the number, I got the number. All right, very good. All right, I should be the character in The Simpsons. All right, tipping point, thank you. Hello, Miyoshi Bullion. Miyoshi Bullion, good to see you. New, both you guys, tipping point, Aztec gold. Yes, good to see you guys. I did get the uh, five ounce Apollo gold coin. Uh, Apollo silver coin, I'm sorry. Yes, I did get that. Need to take it out and look at it again. All right. Hey, the lovely Silver Damsel is here in with the like. I wonder if she's in the tub. Yes, indeed. It is time, though, for us to call a scammer. Now, this darn phone app, I've had to use this another one, which isn't very good. But we're going to try to call Ralph with Trust Funding. And here we go. And more likely, I told him I'd call him uh at 6 30 and it's not quite 6 30 yet but we're gonna try anyway and see if he'll answer the freaking phone he's with trust funding come on that's a weird thing son of a what the heck that's the ring wow that's a strange ring That's insane. Do you hear that? Hello? Hello? Is this Ralph? Hey, who's this? Yes, yes who's Ralph. This? This, is, um, this is Arthur Vandelay, um, and I was calling about the loan for my business. You're with Trust Funding, correct? 
Yes, sir. All right, very good. So uh, how do we make this happen? Can you walk me through step by step on how we get this yeah. loan process going here? Absolutely. Just give me one moment because I actually left the office already. I'm already home. Oh, but very good. I'm nice. Gonna... Yeah. <laughs> But I'm going to take down your information right now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an email out to you the first thing in the morning. Okay, yeah, well, uh, but I'd like to be able to kind of get an idea before we walk too much through this here. L let me give you an idea of what my business does. We, we have been in business for about 14 years, and we are a silver uh, pilfering uh, organization. And we pilfer the silver, to, and, and we're for, we utilize it in, in everyday objects. Have you heard of the Internet of Things? Yeah. The concept of the Internet of Things? Well, we're going to do the same thing with silver. We're going to put it in everything and anything from silver dust. Uh, you, did you know that you can actually ingest silver? So we're going to put it in no, foods. We're going to put it in... Uh, no we're, we, we may even... We're going to put it in everything from foods to, uh, um, to um, vegetables to all kinds of different applications, to refrigerators, to... Magnets. We're going to put it in magnets. We may even uh, we even have a radical concept of putting silver in cellular phones too. We're thinking about that too. That might be a stretch, but we're going to try. Oh wow! So uh, yeah. So we need to try to get some money to get this. Uh, uh, this uh, we need to pitch this marketing thing to get silver into all these things, and uh, we have to. Uh, uh, be able to get this thing up and running fairly quickly here. So how soon do you think we can get some funding for this? I mean, we can get funding as, as soon as tomorrow morning. Okay, very good. Out. All right, nice. All right. Um, so what I'm going to need is about $500,000 for this initial marketing effort. Uh, and we're going to try to uh, try to do this thing to get it out there, to get the word out. That That way we'll get some benefactors in. We've got access to some of Jeffrey Epstein's former estate. We already have a little bit of that uh, and some of oh, Warren wow. Buffett's money. And uh, so we're kind of looking at trying to reach out to other multi um, thousand heirs out there if we can see if we can get some more money. Absolutely, I hear you. But first we have to market it and that's where you come in. That's why we need the money to do that. Right, okay. So now the, the business account, what's the last three months, the statements looking like? Uh, we've been pulling at about $324,000 per month, although in April it was a little bit slow, as you can imagine, because of this COVID thing. Oh, of course. And uh, so uh, we only did about two hundred and ninety dollars that uh, month. But if we're, okay, if we're successful fine. with this, we're going to have an extremely radical idea of putting silver in coins, too. We're, gonna, we're thinking about that. If we, this is successful, we're going to get too far ahead of ourselves, but we're really thinking about putting silver in coins, too. And we want to try to get okay. it before silver breaks twenty dollars, and it's getting close to breaking twenty dollars right now. Wow! So this is going to be a big, big, big company. Yes, this is a pretty big deal. You're talking, yeah. This is going to be pretty huge, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, question. Yes. Uh, do you guys have any open cash advances right now? Uh, not right now. We're pretty f free and clear. We'd be a. a uh, what's the word? A plutonic uh, plague with for you. You know what I mean? Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, so question. What's the best email to reach you back at? Uh, it's going to be silver47ionosphere. That's silver47ionosphere. Uh, how do you spell that last part after the 47? Uh, I-O-N-O-S-P-H-E-R-E. At? At hotmail.com. And, uh, yeah, we also have a little okay. thing there. I've got this other side business that we do, genetically modified chihuahuas that uh, will actually defecate silver, according to Guido here. That's the, that's the Guido division of the company that's going to be doing that research. But that's uh, after we do the coins. Okay. Um also, question: What's the best number to reach you back at? Um, it's uh, it's down right now, but the number you see in our caller ID is not it. For some reason, I'm having trouble with my landline here. It's two zero two eight six seven eight six seven five three zero nine. Five three zero nine. 
Okay, perfect. Yes, yes, indeed. And I think it's going to be a great thing here, um, Ralph. I think this is going to be a great opportunity for you. With the 45 to 50% interest you're going to be earning on this loan, you're going to probably be able to retire in about 45 <laughs> years from now, which would be wonderful. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. okay so, Arthur, what's, the, what's your last initial, your last name? Uh, uh, it's first Arthur first Vandelay. That's V-A-N-D-E-L-A-Y. And I used to be an architect, but I've moved on to the silver venture here. Yes, indeed. And uh, Guido, being the CEO of the Chihuahua Poop Division, he's my business partner, Guido. And uh, he's not a thug, just so you know. He's not a thug. Guido is an affectionate name I have for him. and uh, <laughs> But he is the CEO of the Chihuahua Poop Division. But he is... Still waiting for me to get this thing going before we get to him, but we'll get to him later there again. And uh, yes, indeed. Okay, great. Arthur, I'm going to try to get my underwriter on the phone right now. I, I'm sure he left the office already, but I'm going to try to get him on the phone right now. Okay, I'll hold. Yeah. I'm going to try to get that application out to you as soon as within like the next 30 minutes instead of tomorrow morning. Are we going to have a three-way? Are we going to have a three-way? You're going to call him and get a three-way in here? Sure, let me call him right now. Okay, I'll hold. A menage a twee. I'll do push-ups while you do that, okay? I'll do some push-ups. Sounds push great. Because dove season just showed up, so i got to do 20. Here we go. I'm going to count them out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Ralph? Ralph? Ralphie? Ralphie boy? Hello? Ralph, could you hear the push-ups? I heard you. I was trying to get in touch with uh, James, my boss. He Did you... Uh... Did you happen to hear my shoulder pop while I was doing them by any chance? I did not. Okay, good. That means it's not too loud yet. <laughs> okay, let let me get in touch with him. I'm gonna try to get in touch with him, and I'm gonna, okay. I'll hold. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you back within the next twenty minutes. Uh, well, I, I don't think you'd be able to call back, but you can try. If not, I'll call you back. Okay. Sounds great, man. Thank you. All right, thanks, thank man. You, I'll be in All touch. Right. Okay, thank you, sir. Bye. Bye, bye. All right, well, he literally thought I was serious. That's the thing. That's how insane these guys are. So that's Ralph. And we have, I got this voicemail uh, on my, check this voicemail out. We're going to try to call her next. Hey, this is Stacy from Tip Top. Calling because we did receive your application some time ago. Glad we're finally through this whole COVID thing, or so it seems. <laughs> the good news is now we're approving businesses, which we unfortunately have been declining for the past two months. We're back in our offices. Yes, we're social distancing. <laughs> we're trying, and we've been receiving a lot of funding requests in order to take on new opportunities. So, again, my name is Stacy from Tip Top, and I'd love to get on the phone with you and discuss some opportunities I can help your business with. My direct line is 844. All right. Don't you love that? Um, at Silversmith, you must have missed this video. See this Silversmith right here? See that video right there? Look where I'm pointing. See that? Yeah, you got to check it out. You got to check it out. Let's see here. I gave him a woody. That's right. Exactly. All right. Miss Damsel's here. A lot of good folks here popping in here. All right. We got 50 thumbs up now. Four thumbs down. 88 watching. Very good. Let's get back to it. Rocky, Sal, if I rub my quarters like that, it will uh, it will remove the silver. That's right. Yes, indeed. We don't want that. Stacy is easy, too. That's right. There you go. Exactly. Got to flee from my home state. The economy is crap, says Kennedy Allen. All right. Very good. Should hit the direct line up, Sal. There you go, El Porcano. Good to see you, El Porcano. Welcome. All right. Mm. And you guys, on Monday nights... Guido Stacking has his auctions, so check out Guido on Monday nights for his auction, and uh, and tonight, Stacking Stormtrooper will have his auction.
tonight. Yes, indeed. At 8.30. Uh, and I think, um, when is yours, Guido? Yours is around the same time, is it not? Let's see here. Let's try. Let me see if I can call. Let's see if I can get this thing going here. And get back up here. Where is it? Back up here. Call. Okay, here we go. Let's try it. Let's see if it'll work. We're calling Stacy. And we're going to ask about her mom. If she will do it. Let me see here. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if it'll work. Stacy bought the loan. They've been denying loans, you know. Man, we can't have that. 8.30 Eastern Time for Guido Stacking's auction on Monday night. We're calling Stacy now. Come on, Stacy. I'm Lewis. sorry. The person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been what? set up yet. Please try your call again later. Son of a... Let me try her on this line. I'm going to try her on this line. Let's call it. Stacy? Is this Stacy? Is this Stacy? Yeah, I'm, uh, I work with Stacy. My name is Seth Cohen. How are you? Your name is what? My name is Seth Cohen. I'm, I'm, I'm on the subway. Can you text me? Uh, you're on the subway. Uh, what kind of, is it, is it a foot yeah. long? Is it a foot long? Is it a uh, tuna or is it a, uh, is it a turkey sub? What's on the sub? Italian TNT. Italian, uh, Italian TNT? Yeah. Bacon, TNT. lettuce, and tomato? Very good. All right. Those are good subs. What kind of sauce is on it? Are you looking? Yes. And where is Stacy? And where's her mom? We need Stacy. We need to find Stacy's mom as well, too. Those are the two people we're looking for. This is not good. Calling in one more time. Let's see here. Cornwallis. I don't know why I just said Cornwallis. Hey, Talking Bullion is here. Hello, Talking Bullion. Man. Please leave your message for three, four, seven. All right. Well, no dice there. Okay. We wanted to talk to Stacy and her mom. All right. Very good. All right. Not going to happen. All right, let's get up here. We got Terry is saying hello to me. I can't believe it. That's what happened. You saw it right here first. Thank you, Terry. Tessa Cunningham says, how much stuff can we blame on the so-called pandemic? Bullard of the Fed in St. Louis said that this was a planned, organized, partial shutdown of our economy. So I was expecting something like this to happen. Cashless society is even closer at hand. Yes, that's what I'm worried about too, uh, Tessa. And I'm wondering if it's going to eventually lead to... Um, uh, you know, people just, I don't know. It seems like we're, we've, we've, uh, are wimping out too much. Uh, it's crazy. But, uh, yeah. yeah. I understand. It's crazy stuff here. Bob Silver, I'm here for the Let's Explore. All right, Bob Silver. Thank you, sir. All right. I appreciate that. Thank you, Tessa, for your comment there. All right. Very good. Let's see what we've got going on over here. Joey from Seattle. Without clad coinage, we're back to paper or plastic. That's right. Mm, paper or plastic. I'm going to see. I thought I had one, one more. I had another scammer call me today. And I'm trying to find out where it is. Where the number is. I guess that was it. Uh, let's see here. Yep, I know what's this number here. Is that the same number? I'm looking on here. I'm trying to find out here. It's a New York number. Let me try this number here. Let me give this a shot. I'm going to try this. They're starting to come back out of the woodwork now, these scammers are.
go. Another New York number. We're calling. We're calling. And another strange ring here. Very strange ring. Oh, that's the same guy we called. That's the same guy. Ralph. That's who we talked to. Ralph. We'll call him back later when he gets a hold of his people. War on cash says Joe Seven Pack. Yes. A war on cash. Crazy indeed. What do you think about Utah's gold back currency? I actually posted a video about a Slava key. Uh, gold back. I think if you search gold back on my videos, you should see it. I actually showed one. Got one. Uh, they might still be available, actually. But yeah. All right. All right, very good. Let's see here. Uh, Fiat Destroyer says, gold coming from stars. No way. Let's not kid ourselves. All right. Uh, thanks, Fiat Destroyer. Just one platinum Yale shorter. Uh, for real, you ain't wrong. I've been trading Fiat for half dollars of presidential dollars. Very hard to come by now. Yes, indeed. At presidential dollars especially. They haven't been in circulation for years. Half dollars haven't been in circulation since 2000. Well, I guess 19, when was it last uh, half dollars in circulation? Probably after, hmm. I don't know when the last year that was. All right. There's a Nevada go back coming out, says Drake. Very cool, wow. All right, let's see here. Okay, Ozzy Alchemist says, Seen a few stores and shopping malls. No cash allowed. Well, no business for you. Major grocery store refused to take $25 and $1 coins for an item. Said it was law, but couldn't tell her show me under what act legislation or reference on the sheet she produced. Argued legal tender and threatened to bring in my still legal check. One and two cent pieces bought up cash ban for those interested in what is going on and then left. Funny thing, they are quite happy for you to pump coins into their automatic checkouts. No problems. Yes. I hear you, brother. It's crazy what's going on there. And here, too. Imagine if you walked in with a bunch of dollar coins at uh, Walmart, what they would do. The strange thing is I got my uh, the first uh, golden dollar coin at Walmart, believe it or not. And there's a story about that. The golden dollar 20 years later video I posted. You might find that interesting. Hello, Neophyte Stacker. Good to see you. I welcome you guys. Yeah, where's Bozo been? We haven't seen Bozo in quite some time. Yes, indeed. And we've never seen the 2020 Libertads. Exactly. JD, what are we eating tonight? I smell strawberries. JD, you have a keen sense of smell, sir. It indeed is strawberries. Thank you, sir. Yes, indeed. Bruno says world needs. All right, very good. Aaron Phillips says change is kind of like... It's kind of silly considering the price of everything is up so much. It's almost pointless to even have anything less than 50 cent piece. Force people to round poopy up. No, I hear you, Aaron Phillips. You've got a good point there. Um, uh, it's a cogent point indeed. But it is. Okay, Silver Honda's got to go. He's got to pick up Miss Silver Honda from her work. Her little Honda took a poopy today. I'm sorry. As Casey Kasem would say, keep your feet in the loose change and keep slurping your coffee. Well, I hope you get that. Mrs. Honda's Honda fixed and give her a big hug for me and kiss on the cheek. And I'm sorry, I hope it's not too expensive to get that thing fixed. It was when I first met Sacagawea. That's right, Silver Damsel. Me and Sacagawea, we go way back. We're talking 1804. My two cents. It's no conspiracy sale. We are going cashless by 2024. Hmm. We shall see. We shall see. Hmm. All right. Ed Mall says Sal. All right. All right. Where are we at? Uperman says last. I hope I can still get quarters for the laundry mat tomorrow. I forgot them uh, on the first. Yep, there is a shortage here where I am. The store is ask us to use credit or debit. We're a super small town of around a thousand residents. Yes. So it's happened in most every place, except for those that have a bunch of change stocked up or whatever. Ozzy Alchemist is here, and then he's got to head out. Thank you, Ozzy, for popping in. It is already Wednesday where he's at. 
Yes, indeed. Very good. All right, uh, Sal, uh, damsel. Sal is a Pocahontas fan. No, I'm I'm kind of partial to uh, Sacagawea, especially if she looks like the lady in the dollar coin. Mm. Very good. Lewis Taylor says, "Why is there a shortage of coins? Even though there are, it was like a lot of coins minted since 1965. Are people not spending their coins? I think there's just a lack of commerce." And so it's kind of brought everything kind of down to their knees. Looking at past videos, can you talk about your experience in pouring and minting your own bullion? I'm super interested in it. Well, yeah, um, I never really poured my own. I mean, I, I poured silver just for fun. I never sold it or anything like that, but it was quite fun. Silver is a very easy metal compared to others to, to pour. And uh, it's really fun and, and dynamic. But you still have to be very careful. It can be a slight bit dangerous. But there's others in the community that are far more experienced with it. And they have perfected it. I just did it for fun. And those videos are old. That's from 2014. Some of those videos are. 2014, maybe some in 2015. Uh, as far as uh, my own rounds, I had... Um, uh, I've had a mint do that. I did the design designs for them and sent them the line art. And then they um, they took those designs, cut the dies, and uh, struck the coins or rounds. And uh, they were sold at quality silver bullion. The first two rounds were. And then um, Intaglio Mint did my two-ounce round, which is uh, now in limbo. Not sure what's going to happen. I've not heard back from anybody as far as where they're going to be selling it. I'm, I may... They may be sold back again at uh, Intaglio if uh, Atmex doesn't place another order with them soon. But uh, yes, indeed. But fun stuff. Very good. All right. Let's see here. Media Man is here. Good to see you. Let us see what other new comments are up here. Let's see. There's got to be one or seven. And there are. Okay. Let's see here. Very good. Quite a few, actually. Let's get down to where they are. Here we go. Donald in New Mexico says, I remember going to the store with a dime and being able to buy a candy bar. Yes. Yes, that's right. A dime was worth a lot more then than now. That's for sure. Crazy. Now they're like a dollar and nine. Mm. Take care, Savage Stacker. Appreciate you coming on, my friend. All right. Silver Ice says, another sign that this is just-in-time inventory systems are not very resilient. The toilet paper or hand sanitizer shortages took three four months to reach a new stable point. Ah, yes. Very good point, Silver Heist. Very good point. Joey from Seattle, I pour a silver coffee service once without a drop of coffee spilling on the table. Wow, very nice, man. I slurp in your honor there, sir. That's good. All right, very good. Let's see here. On the coin shortage video, Sterling Cannabis says, I was in Walmart yesterday without a mask on. Uh, they had two checkout lines uh, that were card only. I always buy stuffs with cash. Yep, I stacked the copper from pre-83 pennies. I think I'm going to start doing that again, too. I spent my clad coins on special purchase silver family coins. There you go, Sterling Cannabis. Yeah, I think I might start stacking the pre-83 stuff, too. It's um, good stuff. It smells kind of good, too. It smells kind of wild. Uh, let's see here. Um, CK Hills. Just think about how much they're actually making at the stores when people round up their change across the nation, especially Walmart, unless they give you a voucher saying that they still owe you on your next purchase. Yes. I think they should do that if they're going to do that and have a voucher or something like that there. Good point, CK. Let's go services. Anyone remember when the old man on the Pawn Stars was hoarding buckets of copper pennies and the kids gave him poopy? Yes, I don't remember seeing that, but yes, would not be surprised. All right, very good. Let's see here. Uh... Fiat Destroyer says, at my business we have plenty of coin, but if we didn't, 
We would round our customers' bill down, not up. Very good, Fiat Destroyer. You're a good man. Very good. All right. And uh, all those one now post a link to a video, but I don't want to open it up for fear of copyright junk. And uh, K89Killer says, every time the coin shortage has been in the news cycle, I've called up my credit union and asked them if they had any problems getting coins. They said there is no supply or chain disruption in coins every time. I've had no problems getting or making change for cash transactions. Me thinks the scope of the problem is far smaller than the Fed and news pundits are reporting. Well, this is Walmart. I was at Walmart doing it. Um, some places are getting the coins or they have plenty already in stock. Um, Hype narrative because this year is nothing if not hyper. First hyper stupid, then hyper violent, then hyper soon hyper inflation. So yes, maybe in your area that's not the case yet, but we shall see. Thank you. Much thanks, Sal. Thank you, Mark B. Always appreciate you. Uh, desperately seeking advice and medals I've acquired. Uh, looks like I a couple of these, but the certificate of authenticity is missing. Email and I'll post pics on Instagram so you know to can help or not. Big love and respect to you all. Well, Misty, I hope you will. You can always email me too in the description of my videos. Is that PayPal and well, I guess my email address isn't there, but it's salivatemetal at gmail.com. Yes, indeed. Very good. All right. Let's see here. Where are we at? Let's have another bite. Mm. Eric says, how will street buns survive, Sal? And when they go cashless, street bums, I think he meant to say, will I have to swipe my car between the stripper's butt cheeks? I'm feeling more and more like a curmudgeon and all this newfangled stiff. Yes, I understand, brother. Heck, they might prefer quarters, actually. Stick a quarter up your butt. You know, that's an actual old uh, Eddie, uh, Eddie, uh, what's his name? Eddie Murphy routine. Mm. The markets are fine, Reuper man. They're doing just great. And we'll look at them here right now. Silver is flat. Only gold is down very slightly. Not by much. Crazy. Ah. Oh, man. Ah, can't type. Oh, no, no worries, Eric. I'm horrible at typing, too. I'm very horrible at typing. Thank you, Eric. He's our resident bouncer, by the way. And guys, in case you guys didn't know, he was the first moderator. The one and the only. And though his wrench is blue here... It is indeed silver at his home. Yes, indeed. He posted a video about that. Okay, let's get back here to the comments just for gits and shiggles before we do some more push-ups. El Port Cano says, the reason um, is the agenda to move to cashless. If you withhold coinage from your purchase, it's likely rounded up at your expense of the store. It doesn't have change. That's what they will offer me to do, which then makes the consumer pay by the cashless means. A reserve bank here put cash in quarantine and withheld it going back in the system. My local hardware store won't accept cash. Had to purchase online as click and collect for the safety of their staff. Wow. Yet, I then have to print out my order confirmation and hand them the paper along with my ID and the card I transacted with through the stupid plastic screen at the counter and also tell them my car registration to collect items. Wow. Afterwards, I returned them and my purchase around the side of the screen. They have made all their retail staff scared of cash here in New Zealand, and a lot still refuse to accept it as payment. They told us to bring a stick to push the keypad to enter our PIN numbers. Wow. I always try to pay in cash just to contribute to the stats of its usage and show there is demand for it. We've had bank branches close ATMs, not refilled and removed from town limits, Applied or to over the counter with ATM withdrawals. Uh, there is a point where, to me, for me, where I can see this, uh, where I can clearly see what is happening. It does almost seem like it could be that they're just kind of using, using this as a test case to move people more towards it. Uh, the sheer panic to the checkout staff and our present cash is a manager to second account. Uh, new till systems 
without keypads, some with a picture on the item, uh, kids that don't know how to count. Infuriates me being handed an F to post keypad to stick automatically. They just assume paying by card and the confusion is being handled with cash. The inability of having to work out mass for change saddens me. Well said, my friend. You're exactly right. It is uh, just another example of uh, where we're heading. It's crazy. Use cash as long as you can, is what I say. Great video, Mr. Sullivan Metal says, Natman, thank you, sir. I appreciate that, my friend. Very much appreciate that. All right. Cindy Seymour says, rounding up. How about the retailer to eat it and round it down? They try and stuff on me and I'll leave the product on the counter. Yes, indeed. I, well, she could tell I was resistant to that idea. Thank you, Cindy. I'm with you. Ah. Very good. Yes, indeed. I can't believe I read the whole thing either. But hey, it's uh, it's El Porcano. And I must confess something. Because I didn't want to do this. But i got to make out confession because... Terry actually nailed it earlier. Uh, the reason why I was at Walmart was to buy shoes. That's exactly right. Uh, okay, yes, indeed. All right, let's do some another 21 for Dove season because he's got to head out. He's got to finish some work. Let's crank out another 21 push-ups. Here, here we go, here we go, here we go. Cranking out some push-ups for Dove season right now. Here we go. 21. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. There we go. Okay. That's fifty total. Thank you, Dunk Season. Uh, I, I had to smell my new shoe there. Sorry. I just got some new shoes at Wally World. I had to smell those sons of biscuits. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I forgot to stretch it out. Dang it. Yes, JD. Thank you. Let me go down and stretch it out. I'm going to do five more and stretch it out. I got to do that. I forgot to do that. Dang it. Let me do five more and stretch it out. One. Two. Three, four, five, and stretch. Oh, yeah. That's good on my back. Yes, indeed. Thank you, JD. Stretching it out for JD. I mean, don't take that the wrong way, JD. I didn't mean it like that. Oh, I found a scam number while I was on the floor. Unified Funding Solutions, Jake Fuller. Oh, man. Big shoulder pops. Thank you. Have a good one, Dove Season. The tennis elbow, Eric, great question. The tennis elbow is slightly better. It is slightly better, Eric. Thank you, sir. And when it gets better, I'm going to pump some iron. I mean, I'm already kind of doing, I'm doing these hammer curls. But I want to get that... And it's technically his golfer's elbow because it's on the inside. But yeah, thanks for asking. Because I want to try to get pumped up. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I just want to get normal. I'm too skinny. Mm. Aaron Cross is right. It's about as good as my tennis game, which is horrible. Who wants to sniff Joey's finger? That's a, is that a rhetorical question? I'm not sure, but uh, yes, indeed. All right, let's see here. Barbara Carbone says, Amazing how in just three months or less we've had a coin shortage. I never really thought it would happen. I'm actually very surprised too, Barbara. In the beginning of COVID, establishments were still accepting coins. What a domino effect COVID has had. Things we don't even think of until it arises. That's true. Slurp for you. Let's slurp for Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. Here we go. Oh, JD says it's Problem of an elbow impingement. Really? Um, yeah, what it is, it's, you know where the bone, where the elbow, where the funny bone is? That bone that sticks out? It's right, right there. And whenever I go to do a regular curl, 
it hurts really bad when I make the lift upward. So I don't know what an elbow impingement is, but if that's what it is, <laughs> measure it when you stretch out, says Silver Damsel. There you go, indeed. That's right. Oh my goodness gracious. JD sounds like he knows his stuff on that. So maybe it's not golfer's elbow. I don't know. I always thought it was golfer's elbow, but. And when I push my thumb against something, it really starts to hurt too. I can feel it right now. I'm just pushing down on my with my thumb. I guess it activates that muscle somehow. So I, I'm trying to babysit it. In fact, I need to ice it. I don't know what else to do. Ice it and uh, and bandage it up or whatever. It's not as bad as it was, but it's still there. <clears throat> uh, no, JD. If I push on the spot, it just kind of aches. In fact, it's... Well, yeah, if I right on that spot, I guess it does hurt if I get right in the right area. Yeah. It's right to the above inside of that bone. It's kind of crazy. Um... And then when I push the thumb, well, it's strange. I have to push it, the thumb a certain way. But when I do a curl, you know what I mean? Whenever I do a curl, it hurts there. But in a hammer curl, it doesn't hurt so bad. I'm going to do hammer curls right now. I'm going to do it with a 20-pound weight. And see, the hammer curl is where you've got your fist um, not facing down or up. It's to the side. So I'm doing that hammer curl right now. I need some beet juice, says Uperman. There you go, beet juice. I've got many problems, that's right. So, Terry, what'd you think about that? You're, uh, about your, um, your prediction, or your, you were right about me buying shoes. That's what she said. That's right, Rocky. You're exactly right, Rocky. I'm doing some hammer curls now, so I'm a little bit, see here. Oh, no worries, Silversmith. No worries. Sometimes the notifications don't go out for those videos. So I can understand. That's happened other times, too. But yeah, I just posted that today. There's actually two videos on the coin shortage. I posted one quite a while ago. I describe my pain at Beavis and Butthead speak. <coughs> uh, dude, it like hurts on my elbow and stuff. <laughs> Shut up, butt munch. <laughs> it hurts me, too. Hurts me when you talk. <clears throat> uh, Terry like knows everything and stuff. <laughs> I couldn't find the slurp emoji. John Knapp, uh, type, um, I think colon S L U R P, I think, or slurp. I don't know, forget what the other thing is. Bruno, okay, yeah, we'll try to call another one here in a moment. Let me finish this curl. One. Uh, needs to visit Jack Kevorkian. I think he can help me. He's dead, I think. Yeah, if I go to turn it right side up like a regular curl, it hurts when I lift up on that, on that thing. All right, where are we at? All right, so Bruno, we called a, a telemarketer, a scammer earlier, and but we're going to try to call him back now. Ralph. And, uh, all right, take care, CCT. Have a good night, my friend. Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Have a good night, my friend. My April. Uh... Let's give this guy a call. I'm calling Ralph. Let's see here. Sounds like a big kid, just like me. There's right, Mark B. You're awesome. Mark B, great guy. What? What's happening? Oh, we may have run out. We can't do it anymore. Try one more time. Hmm. Is it working? Nope. It's not working. Let's try to call. My regular one does not work anymore. I don't know why. It hasn't worked for quite a while. And for that, I'm not sure. Let's try one more here. Uh, 
Okay, let's try this. All right, let's see. Let's give it a shot. Oh, not working. Not working. It's very... Use some jerky boys on the scammers. There you go. Yes, indeed. He asked for too much money. That's right. I, that's the most I've ever asked before. Is for that much. That was crazy amount. But he was willing to do it. He was willing to do it. Let's see here. Let's try this way. This one here that I'm on is my final final one to try because these things normally never ever work on this one particular one I'm trying here I'll give it a shot we'll see more likely it's not gonna work oh hello funk tat for Sally good to see you sir hope you're doing well all right welcome good to see you all right he's here and uh Copper is the new silver, says John Morgan. All right. It could be. Seems like it with the shortage going on. It's crazy. Let's see here. We're waiting for this thing to, to dial. Not sure what's going on. Talking bullion. Not sure what's up with the coin shortage, but I wouldn't be surprised if something bigger was in the works. Yes. It raises a lot of questions because you would think that, uh, you know, by now things would have been, supply chains would have been filled. Uh, oh, the skin on at your elbow is called the weenus. I had no idea. My weenus is sore. Wow, da Silver Damsel, I had no clue. Nope. Not working. Dang it, this darn thing. Son of a... Can't get these things to work. Let me see here. Nothing left there. That's not working. That's it. Yep. No more calls. All right. Well, let's see here. Okay, let's get back here. Four Nines Fine Silver says, I have plenty of change, about 50 or 60 kilograms of it sitting beside the bed. Wow, Four Nines. That's a lot. 50 or 60 kilograms. Man. Mm. And Donald Robinson, thank you, sir. He says, thanks to our Master of Metals, Master Sal. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Rocky Mountain Bear is here. What about a one-eyed weenus? Yes, good, good, good question indeed. Hello, Andy Benjamin. Good to see you. Sal needs a weenus rub. That's right. We rub my weenus, Silver Damsel. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Oh man, yeah, it's insane in the membrane. Another scam, says Lewis Cat, on this thing. Yes, indeed. Very good, very good. Kuna Coin says. It's because I've been stacking clad. That's right. All of you suckers are going after gold and silver, but clad is where it's at. There you go, brother. You got it. Weenus massage. That's crazy. That's actually called the weenus. That's right. Silver damsels is called a vagina. That's right. Yeah, right there. Okay, where are we at? That's Lady Bullion. The COVID has caused so much chaos. First toilet paper, hand sanitizer, and now coins. Can't imagine what will happen next. I know, man. It's crazy, Lady Boy. And good to see you, by the way. Hope you're well as I eat this last strawberry here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bruno, what I like to do is get their mobile numbers. And some of them are actually stupid enough to give it to me. I've got this one here from Sheldon. I've got a cell number. I have Ralph's mobile number. I got the guy that I called on the subway. I'm gonna try to call him back. I'm gonna try to call from my regular phone here. We called him from the subway, from New York. Let's give this a shot. I think this is the guy we called in the subway. Yeah, no, oh, ah, he blocked me. I'll try it one more time. Let's see. Hello, Stacy. Uh, yes, hello. Is Stacy there? Yeah, Stacy, yes. It's pretty late over here, but uh, Stacy left for the day. It, uh, this is actually one of the investors of the company. Okay. Uh, the, call, the call transferred. 
the calls, uh, yeah, the calls transfer to my line. Uh, okay. Once the office closed, um, what's up? What's going on? Uh, well, I'm kind of interested in a loan for the business here, and uh, okay, and uh, yeah, we've got uh, we've got something going on. I'm trying to find a quick. We're developing. We're a medical device company. We're trying medical to develop device, okay. a a uh, a quick therapeutic treatment for what's called golfer's elbow. Have you ever heard of golfer's elbow? I, 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 I heard of that before. I don't know exactly what it is, though. Well, apparently what it is is the area underneath your weenus, which is, believe it or not, a real thing. It's the skin on your elbow. There's a muscle okay. there that gets pulled. And uh, okay. somehow from uh, golfing and other uh, repetitive activity... Um, Understood. And uh, it gets uh, the muscle gets kind of uh, cramped and sore and achy, and uh, we're developing a silver kind of um, uh, uh, supportive device to help heal that muscle with silver, and uh, with a special mixture of silver and gold alloy called Electrum, and we're going to use that alloy to therapeutically. Um, kind of vibrate against the weenus of the that's the skin that's attached that's on your elbow there to get it to um, possibly heal up. We need funding for this new device that we're creating. Okay, so and um, are you? I mean, the, the the main question is really, are you up and running now since the COVID? And you know, I know uh, you're trying to start this new venture, but um, are you making some money? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, but it's in other stuff, but we're making some money. Yeah. I think we're, we're, yeah. we're, we're, yeah, we're doing pretty good out there. So yeah, yeah. We've got a business going here, but this is going to be a new thing we're doing, you know? No, that's fine. That's fine. You can use the money for whatever you want. I'm, I'm glad you're telling me about the, the new venture you got in, you know, uh, you know, what's coming up next, let's say, um, which is pretty cool. What I was going to ask you was, are any days, any weeklies, are you paying, um, are you paying anybody off at the moment? Advances oh no, we don't we don't do any bribery or any kind of pay, payoffs or back back end deals or anything like that. We're completely above board. Understood. Yeah. And how long have you been in business for? About fourteen years now. And let's say the business that I'm that I'm going to look at, uh, how, what are you making on a monthly basis? With uh, let's say if I look at the account when you send me that last four. I would need the last four months to underwrite the uh, the account. April uh, and May were pretty in? hard hitting months be, months because of the COVID thing. So, but if, if we average month? all of those together, um, it 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 is um, we're we're cranking in about um, eighty thousand dollars a month if you average it together. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. On a monthly basis, eighty k. Yeah, eighty k. But I tell you what, brother, I gotta get going here. But uh, let let's have your Let machine call my machine here later I'll, on. I'll, yeah, and, I'll I'll call you in the morning. Okay. I'll call you in the morning. This is my direct line. Okay. I'll just get your email so I can send you a package, and then I'll call you in the morning because you're busy at home. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. The email is gonna be the email is uh is tie end four seven. That's T I E E N D four seven. At uh, AOL dot com. Um, you told me high end at first, right? Tie in T I E E N D four seven at AOL dot com. Yeah. Got it. I got T I E E N D forty seven at AOL. I'll send it right now. Okay. Um, this is my cell direct line. I know you're busy, so I'll call you in the morning. Sounds but, good. Um, all I need. All I need before, just to, I'm going to send it now, but if you got a chance tonight, send me over the last four months statement and the application you'll see. You, it's just one page. You can fill that out if you got some time tonight, all right? All right. Very good. Thank you, sir. We'll talk in the morning. Take care. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye all right. Very good. All right. Weena stretcher. Very good. And he thought I was serious. That's the thing. All right. And he'll follow up. I bet you he'll follow up. I miss America. Hello. Good to see you. Mr. Billionaire says, I always save my coins. It really adds up. There you go. It sure does add up. I do the same thing. All right. A weenus pump. That's what we need is a weenus pump. That's right. Mm. 
That's right, Pathfinder. You're totally clueless. Oh, man. These funding scammers usually are. And I'd like to find my app to work with because I could really have fun with them if this thing would work. It never does. I have no idea why. I'm going to try it. I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to try something and pop back in here. It's like this thing is completely... Let's see if I can do this here. Try something. Try to get it to re-engage. Nope. Come on, will it work? No. I'm gonna try something else. Bear with me one second here. Uh, where are we at? Let's see here. Nope. Yeah, something's wrong with this particular thing I've got going here. I'm not going to be able to do that. All right. Very good. All right. What you snacking on? Oh, Funk Tab. Yeah, I just finished a strawberry, sir. Yes, indeed. Trying to eat healthy. Yes, indeed. Trying to eat a little bit healthy here. Uh, the second guy you have gave wood this evening. Yeah, we had some fun with some scammers earlier. Oh, that was fun. All right. Couldn't get a hold of them back again. All right. Hmm. Neophyte says looked at macro trends, 100 year silver uh, price chart. Uh, February is 1917, $17.95 adjusted for inflation. Fast forward 100 years, uh, July 2020, 1943. Any thoughts? Uh, Neophyte, I posted a video about that very subject uh, called Silver 100 Years of History Proves Its Worth or something like that. Did one on that and gold as well. But yes, indeed. So check out that video, and there's my complete thoughts will be on that. Yes. All right, very good. Let's see here. Where are we at? Um, No way. Do ten, okay, uh, Funk Dad says do 10 push-ups. Here we go. Strawberries don't crunch. 10 push-ups for Funk Dad for Selly. Here they are. All right, good. And good to see Pamela Rice, by the way. Cranking out 10 more push-ups for Funk Dad for Selly. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Stretch it out. Yeah, I gotta stretch it out. Okay. All right, there we go. Stretching. That's how we like to do it. We like to stretch it. Ah. Very good. Let's see here. And there's that. Nicely done. Good to see Pamela Rice, our resident um, secretary of the treasury. All right. Very good. Leona, Le Leonel Ventura. Welcome. How you doing? All right. Very good to see you. Rocky Mountain Bear saying hello to Pamela. Um, very good. Oh, thanks, Fung Tad. Appreciate that. Do our super chat. Very kind of you, sir. Yes, indeed. A little bit of overachievement there. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that super chat. All right. Very good. And let's see here. And what else is going on? Robert M. says in the chat, Is there a gold diet and silver diet? I'm trying to save up to buy some coins. Yes. That is a good way to do it. I did a golden envelope challenge, which I've, which I've not contributed to in quite some time. Uh, but uh, yes, indeed. But uh, yeah. Be nice if there was. Rick says, good night, everybody. I've not been engaged too much tonight. I've been listening and working. Have a nice night. Well, thank you, Rick. I appreciate you, sir. Thanks for popping in, my friend. Very nice. Thank you, Rick. All right. Let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. Mr. Jack Hackney says, Walmart in our area was cash only for auto checkout. I believe they had one man checkout for cash. The coin shortage is not making sense. Yeah, something seems... Strange on that for sure. Oops, wrong thing here. Let's see here. I need to grab my uh, grab my my boilerplate here. Let's see here. Post it in here and copy that again. And go. Oh, gold nuts! Thank you so much for the super chat. He says that he picked up the mint marked ASE last week, waiting on the seventy fifth World War Two. 
Oh, are you talking about the one for sale? The uncirculated collector version for 55 bucks? Congratulations, because those things are now unavailable. Congratulations. The 75th anniversary is going to be... It's going to be a winner, a complete winner when that thing is sold. Crazy. Wow, good job. Brittany Maza says, That sucks, man. When are we going to do without money? Can't buy food and clothing and cars and houses. All right. Well, you can do it on credit or you can do it with a debit card and the like, but it's about it. It's crazy. Have you looked at the Utah Go Back? Yes, Lee Bolton actually posted a video about it. Quite some time ago. Yes, indeed. You're all right. Very good. Mm. Ah. Very good. Uh, Will Edwards says, My wife just recently started dropping coins when going to the bathroom. She went to her OBGYN, and after examining her, he told her not to worry, for she was just going through the change of life. Ah, interesting. All right. <laughs> interesting. All right. Very good. Rocky Superstar's got to go. Well, thank you for popping in, Rocky. Always appreciate you. Bama, 17NC. Do you like Utah Goldbacks? Yes, I posted a video about it quite some time ago. Everybody's been asking me about that lately. Uh, just search my channel for Goldback. And it should pop up the video where I, where I showcase that. Let's see here. And U.S. Frame says, after all this rambling about cashless and digital wallets, some thoughts here because I don't see many thoughts of substance going beyond folks yelling for what fits their own cause. How about this? Paying a neighbor kid to shovel snow and mow the lawn. Uh, they get a wallet they, uh, that they control. Okay, you're ready for fees for every transaction? The digital wallet isn't going to be free. Security and servers cost a lot of money. That's right. How will that work in a farmer's market or flea market or buying produce from the Amish? That's right. A lot of stuff. There's still demand. Um, and uh, yes, indeed. A lot of demand for still change out there for that type of thing. Very good. All right. Uh, oh, here's a question from uh, Sterling Cannabis. Uh, and uh, do you like gold backs? Oh, man. Uh, man, I, that's a, you caught me off guard with that question, uh, Sterling Cannabis. I don't know how to answer that. Do I like Utah Goldbacks? Mm. May, may I, you give me time to prepare for the answer for that. Uh, let's see here. Have a good night, Rocky. Yes, indeed. And let's see. Sal, what's your thoughts on the newly minted piece in Morgan Dollars? Um, newly minted. I don't know that we're minting those again. Now, there is a legislation that I think has not actually been in the... Um, uh, there's not been any legislation, uh, there's a legislation that's been proposed, Funktad, for a 2021 commemorative of the 1921 Peace and Morgan Dollars, and I'm all for it. I think it'd be great if they did that, but that's next year if they're going to mint those things, and the 2021 uh, Peace Dollar would be high relief like the original was, and by that I mean just not high relief like we think of these days, but but I think it's a great thing, and uh, if they do it, I hope they do it. All right, let's see here. Okie dog, could we convince you for another video on them? I might do it. I might do another video on this. Only have the one. Uh, but yes, indeed. Silver Damsel, you taking off? All right, have a neat. Uh, she, have a nice night. She's a prune. Got to get going. Thanks a lot for last. Thank you so much for being here. All right, yes, indeed. Thank you. Uh, I've only been able to put together 31.6 ounces of gold, so I feel very behind in my stacking. Bama, dude, that's an incredible amount of gold. Uh, I would say you're doing very well. And um, so don't feel like you're behind. You know, you go at your own pace. And uh, that's a good chunk of gold there, my friend. You're doing well, I, I believe. Mm. All right, very good. Hello, Jesse Petri. Good to see you. Welcome. All right. Very good. And Lee Bolton says, Sup, number two, you should give him the suicide hotline. Oh, my gosh. There's Lee Bolton on this thing here. Political prisoner two. The loose change is the only money that is worth anything. Yeah. And really, when you think about it, technically, he's right. 
One quarter is worth more than a $100 bill in terms of the material and intrinsic value of the materials involved. Pretty crazy to think about, isn't it? Thought I had a W mint mark quarter there, but it's not. Pamela Rice makes silver a monetary metal again. There you go, the new slogan. That's right, that's MSMMA. Misima, Misima. I just haven't quite the feel as a manga, but anyways, but yes, indeed. John Knapp, Rawson up your bow and play your fiddle hard. By the way, have you ever heard of Goldback? So, hey, Rawson up your bow and play your fiddle hard. There you go, yes, indeed. The Goldback thing. Hmm, I have to look into this Goldback thing. I'm not sure. Yes, indeed. Uh, I have to look into it. I don't even know where my Goldback is. It's somewhere. Uh, you know what? You know what? You know, some people want their gold backs. Well, for me, I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Ribs. That's right. Loose change. That's right, Joey. 9-11 truth. That's right. The truth is when I think of loose change, I always think of that uh, that conspiracy film. Yes, indeed. All right. Let's see. Okay. Fed up 1965. Trying to take us cashless. That's right. Well, Fed up 1965 is probably... Referring to when they took silver out of coins. All right. Love the Libertad. That is too, Nessalino. Tomoko's Enterprise. What a question situation. Wonder what's next down the time for shortage. Every time you turn around, it seems there's something going on, eh? Thanks for the post. Well, thank you, Tomoko's Enterprise. You're awesome, Dean. Hope you're moving away towards a new leg. Hopefully you've gotten some, uh, there's been some, there's been some other fundraisers going on for Dean for his new leg. Yes, indeed. Gen C says, where did it go? Just another excuse, soon no cash, save all your change, it will become a collectible round. That's right. What? Nope. Now, yeah, probably won't be collectible, but hey, I'm saving all my pre-82 cents, or pre-83 cents, that are copper, that is. All right. The beer maker says, I'm sure we will be cashless one day. Would eliminate a lot of crime, but we would give up a lot of freedom. Yes. Crime will still go. We'll still be here for sure. What is your last purchase of silver? Um, I posted a video on it, actually. Um, actually, no, I didn't. I did get a silver eagle that I didn't do an unbox or I didn't do a video on. But the last one that I purchased online is with a platinum. It's a platinum kangaroo. Look at that video with a bonus of silver. It's actually a beautiful silver coin I got. You might like it. New fight stacker. Search for Platinum Kangaroo and you'll find it. It's a couple of days, a week old or so. Uh, what did the right buck cheek say to the left buck cheek? Paul says, if we work together, we can stop this poopy. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Very good, Paul Richards. I like that. I got to remember that joke. That is a good one. That is a really good one. But yeah, if you need a beer maker, give Pamela Rice a call. She knows how to... Uh, uh, make some very cool beer stuff beer slurpees and uh let's see here sal pulled tomoko's leg that's right donald in new mexico that's right exactly right steve sal tell him to do 10 push-ups that's right exactly you talking to me you talking to me you talking to pamela us mint now has 2020 se proof available what's se proof uh, U.S. Mint has now 2020, oh, Silver Eagle proof. Okay, Silver Eagle proof, I see. Very good. Lee Bolton. Okay, so everybody knows about the gold back. The prices are ridiculous. Yes. Lee Bolton, there we go. All right, he, he must have posted out what we were talking about. Let's see if any other gold back comments on this, on this thing going on here. Wow, there's a lot more comments that have popped up in the last couple of minutes here. Dang it. Wow. The Farkas gives me a thumbs up from the U.S. Sim Ting Wong says, No one still has figured out how our paper and coins are different. One is the Federal Reserve note. The other one is U.S. currency. There's a difference. There are two currencies, U.S. dollar and Federal Reserve dollar. Uh, no one has ever paid attention. Do you do, you, do you see Federal Reserve any of your coins? Nope. Uh, well, the Federal Reserve still controls it. They're, they don't say the Federal Reserve note on the coins, but... Uh, the dollar is the basis. These are fractional dollars. So by decree, they're kind of still associated there. Federal Reserve controls the distribution of them as like they do dollar bills to the banks. Jesus L.A. Lao, silver coins will be the new currency. 
All right. Jesse Lal says, two years and five months, Mexico will have silver currency. Hmm, interesting timing on that. We did talk a little bit about that in prior video. All right. Uh, let's see here. Chad Lichtenstein, coins worth more in metals across the board. There we go. Look up Ian Mendel effects. You spoke as hundreds of supernatural changes from the Bible, four years of coins. Coin shortage and will this make it stop me completely this August? And soon after that, one of five dollar bills will be discontinued. A lot more shocking things. I can't say so. Yeah, conspiracy. We'll see how it plays out. I know people have been kind of, um, that's what they've been saying about this kind of stuff. We'll see what happens for sure. Let's have another slurp. We're getting closer to the end of this coffee. Barbara's still with us. Thank you. Christopher King says, if everyone is broke, would they not have used their store up change? Yes. Right. Exactly. That's very well, very well good. Medio Man, you're getting too popular. You'll have to hire a comment reader. That's right. Exactly. Oh, my goodness gracious. Chuck applauds us back with us. Hello, Chuck. Had to feed a hungry crew, he did. Four nines find silver sale. Could you please mention my 500 sub giveaway? It's a hand poured koala seashell or frog on a lily pad. Thanks. Very cool. All right. So he's doing a 500 sub giveaway. Check him out. Four nines find silver. Give him a subscription. Check him out. Very good. All right. There we go. Pamela Rice is here. She's the Sal, Sal gal. Good to see you. West Coast Stacker. Does this mean that Coinstar will, uh, will add pay me 10% if I take coins? Sadly, I live on cash. Easy for me to back to keep track of my weekly expenditures on drinks and lunches of my size and my pill fold. I've not bought PM since February 6, 2020. The PM dealer I like is, is used to be closed in public and only my phone and online now through the summer. If you cash, go catch us, I will pay for my drugs and prostitutes when physical distancing ends. There you go. Yes, exactly. Yeah, my LCS wants 2000 bucks for a gold eagle on a credit card. $2,000 for a gold eagle. Crazy. So, have the guy that does your push-ups read some comments. <laughs> That's funny, Terry. Oh my gosh! Indeed, yes, indeed. I have tried for a couple. hadn't tried for a couple of months. Yesterday, I went to my Chase in L.A. and was refused a box of quarters. They're rationing ten-dollar rolls. I'm going through my collection. Good time to search and thin it out, and taking a closer look at some of my errors and varieties. Yes, indeed. I've got some quarters I could cash out. I'd like to do that. M. Nice, you ain't seen nothing yet. It's going to get more strange yet. Very well could. Kendall Kid, quit hoard, hoarding those loose change, Uncle Sal. Turn it in. I do have, so I need to turn that stuff in. Be a good American, right? Don't use credit cards, says Neophyte. MMMIX says, at the end of May, in anticipation of a possible bank closure from a COVID, I blamed economic class, went to my bank and purchased $1,000 worth of rolled dimes and quarters. Also withdrew the bulk of my cash. I wanted to protect the coins and cash from circulation, COVID contamination, and not to have to rely on the banks. Doors being open to have money. I wonder if how many people did that, and that might, that might be part of the reason why the shortage is out there. You're very well, good point. That's a good point, MMIX. Those who bully are cowards. That's us, us up, SNM, everybody. I hope you thumbed up the video. Thanks, my friend. Tricky, get your butt in here, Tricky Guy. Do not lurk. We want you to actively participate, Tricky Guy. Tricky, Tricky, Tricky. Do you think if Terry was here, she'd give me a hug right now, or would she just, um, would she be repulsed by me? I wonder, I wonder, I'm curious. Stephen Marmer says, the last time they declared a coin shortage, the purpose was to recapture 1964 and earlier silver coins that were replaced in 1965 by base metal coins. What is the hidden agenda this time? Probably a stealth plan to go up 100% in cash just for some revaluation frog in the boiling water strategy. Yes, it's going to take quite a while longer than what we're seeing, but if, you never know. What is normal? Normal is what is going on right now. It is the new normal. That's right. Bank of America went from only three rolls to two rolls and only one of each. Ah, okay. 
All right. Sal, this push-up's pre-recorded. Yes, indeed. All right, there you go. Terry has confirmed she would hug me. Thank you so much, Terry. You're very kind. All right. Chuck and Plot, if anybody cares, Chris Wayne in stamping the Silver Shield strike again. And Chuck and Plot that has some stuff for sale. I think some of the um, older releases of the Silver Shield stuff. Right, Chuck? Save coins, buy silver, says Son Myra. A couple of times here. We're going to go ahead and respond to each of these individually. For each single one of these from Son Myra. That's right, that's what we're doing here. Normal soon. We shall see, Son Myra. We're going to check for comments one more time before we give you guys the cold boot. That's right. There's Tricky Guy. Active participation is denied. I'll appeal the decision. Stay tuned. Got to rush back before they find out. Find out I was at the keyboard. They're going to do um, DNA sampling, COVID testing on that keyboard to see if indeed Tricky Guy was here, actively participating. Now, I want you to smell a pre-83 penny ascent, I mean. All right, breaking news, everybody. Psycho Stacker is selling his liver on eBay. It is chock full of uh, uh, liver of sulfur <laughs> and iron. And, um, yeah, iron. Because iron and, I guess, iron is probably the thing. Is Yes, indeed. All right. Four Nines Fine Silver is here. Made a killing on Moderna today, says Richard C. What is Moderna? All right. Save coins. Buy gold backs. There you go. Yes, indeed. All right, good to see Psycho Stacker. All right, guys, let's check one more time before we give you guys the bum rush, the cold boot, the hairy nipple, and the weenus. That's the skin by the elbow. I learned something new from uh, the lovely Damsel Stacker. Silver Damsel, I mean. All right, Silver Smith. All right, been a while since I heard a scammer call. Yes, indeed, we did the scammer calls earlier, Silver Smith. I don't know if you were here or not. Vogus is here. Good to see you. You want to listen to the, to the scammer call we did earlier, Silversmith. It was pretty funny if you missed it. All right, where are we at? Okay, let's see. Check the market, Sal. All right, and we'll do that for uh, Donald. We're going to do that right now. Checking the markets right now. And they are... Right now, gold is still down. Only slightly. Only down 30 cents. And silver's up 2 cents to $19.37. Very good. All right. All right, Psycho Stackers, I'll make me hard. Oh, man, all right. I won't ask. All right, the cold new shoe boot. There you go. That's right, Joey. Katamon, Katamon. Does he take fractional silver for that liver? Yes, maybe so, Gold Nuts. And there's where the markets are. Sal, quit hoarding coins. Yes, I know. Man, good grief. That does not look good, does it? Tell you what, hoarding all those coins. Just go to self-service laundry and get as much coins as possible. There you go, James Young. If... But some of those coin laundries are now just taking credit. We'll see. Okay, Silversmith was saying thanks for the scammer calls. Thank you, Silversmith. <clears throat> I just did a slurp for Barbara. I don't know if she heard it. She may have left. I don't know. Ah. All right, guys. We have completed everything. We'll do one more refresh to see if any more comments have popped in. I don't think they have. Nope, they've not. So there we go, guys. We did it. We made it through another live stream. We did it. We actually did it, guys. Can you believe it? Thank you so much for all being here. A multitude of gratitude to all of you. Fist bumps. Keep your feet on the stars. Keep reaching for the ground. Have a great night, all. See ya. <laughs>